It's not just submission to authority as an act, yeah. but it's an attitude that goes so contrary to what is promoted in our world mm -hmm. for women. And Peter talks about this in 1 Peter chapter 3, mm -hmm. and it's also, again, in the context of submission. Mm -hmm. He says, wives be subject to your own husbands. And he talks about the power of that submission so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word mm -hmm. by the conduct of their wives when they see your respectful and pure behavior. These are things we've been talking about in Titus right. too. And then he says, verse three here of first Peter three, don't let the focus of your energy and your efforts and your time be on your outward beauty. But he says, instead, let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a, here's the term, gentle and quiet spirit, mm -hmm. which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hoped in God in the past, used to adorn themselves by submitting to their own husbands. That is an amazing uh, phrase there that are so precious to God. Yeah. And it's precious to God because that's the characteristic in Christ that won salvation for us, his submission to the Father. God wants you to become a woman who is soft and amenable in spirit. Mary, that's one of the things I so appreciate about you. You've been an incredible model to me in this area of mm -hmm. having a an amenable a yes-spirited disposition. And I think a key to this, and you see it in 1 Peter 2, is the willingness to trust in God. Mm -hmm. My willingness to, uh, to submit to God-ordained authority, my willingness to have a gentle and a quiet spirit is not because I trust or, or a woman can trust her husband or the people mm -hmm. around us. We all fail. But we trust that God is bigger and greater than all that. Proverbs 21 says the king's heart is in the Lord's hand. Yeah. He turns it wherever he wants. So I can say even in difficult situations, look, I'm not in charge of, this wor of the world. I'm not God. Mm -hmm. God is God. He mm -hmm. is sovereign. He hasn't gone to sleep in this situation. He knows what's going on. And he is able to turn this authority's heart. He's mm -hmm. able to turn this situation. So Lord, I trust you and that's why I don't have to be manipulating or conniving or scheming or controlling or freaking out mm -hmm. because I know that he's in control and I trust him to do what's right and good.